uh, with the previous uh, background of the uh, plate tectonics. So Taiwan, the island Taiwan was subject of weak forces of uh, the result of plate convergence. And uh, I will show you uh, this kind of uh, weak forces acting on the island uh, Taiwan and also the offshore area by a series of uh, photos. Here, this uh, show the plate configurations. Island Taiwan is right here. And you have the plate boundaries the Luku Arc, the Manila Trench. This boundary is a conversion boundary. That means the Philippine CPA moving 80 millimeter or 3.15% inches towards in direction of northwest towards the continent, Eurasian continents. And this conversion uh, been break to into two kind of configurations, one subduction, the other is correlation. The subduction have two opposite polarities. Uh, as for the northern part, the Philippine Sea Bay is subducted beneath it. So called a lot of uh, back up back arc volcano islands and the back arc right here is because a lot of heat coming up, opening. So towards the Taiwan, the Yilan Plain is right here, is the western extremity of this uh, opening. So the Yilan Plain is open, subsided. The large trench is Malaya Trench. The subduction is the South China Sea or the Eurasian Plain here is subducted beneath the uh, so-called the Philippine Sea Plain. So the trench moving up is the so-called the Pingdong uh, Plain. The Typhoon Morocco hit us hard right here at the at the seesaw a lot of uh, heavy flooding and mud uh, coming down from the central range so this place the Pingdong uh, plain is subsiding uh, so in Taiwan there are two places are uh, subsiding the rest most of the rest is uprising the rising place because the correction because this is right here the two places do not uh, so called no subductions, no uh, so uh, overriding of each plate. The two materials compress each other, compress each other, then a lot of material have been piling up uh, in this area. So, emergence of an island right here. A more detailed uh, uh, situation you could see here Okinawa Shroff and the Maria Trans, and the prey is moving in this direction. So, you can see that. Here, the block diagram, you can see the space Philippine Sea Bay is bending northwards, subducted beneath the so called the continental uh, margin, uh, the continents, the Eurasian continents. And the other one is subducted in another direction, the Eurasia is subducted. And also, one of the region, the Eurasian Bay is a uh, continental bay, so it's high buoyance, so it, it couldn't subduct anymore. This is one of the reasons the Taiwan island was collided. An arc collided with continents. So the mountain Taiwan is the result of arc continent collision. Here is the distribution of the geological units, the rock itself. Uh, in terms of composition, in terms of age. So you can see that. Uh, Aligning from the west, the youngest strata, uh, the f is uh, right here. It's a uh, plain, coastal plains right here, and then moving eastwards, you have this uh, color, uh, so-called Pliocene Pliocene to recent. Pliocene means uh, almost two million years up to now, and for the coastal range, this part, so-called slender. Uh, Bell is a coastal range, 150 kilometers in maximum. You name the reef of, of a, more, a bit more than 10 <laughs> kilometers. And this is uh, actually is a part of the arc, the Luzon arc. It's a volcanic uh, arc. So it's, uh, it's young and it's a mile into the process. For the western foothill, as I have said, this place, uh, 
And then the Shushan range, the earthy color. And then the so-called central range, the oldest rock. It's uh, uh, as old as uh, uh, Paleozoic. That means uh, 250 million years ago up to uh, uh, dinosaur's time in the uh, Mes uh, Mesozoic time. So uh, this is the oldest rock of Taiwan, the so-called basement rock of Taiwan. And this rock has the deep buried. Now it's because of pushing of the plane, so it's unearthed, exhumed to the surface of, and then from the island of Taiwan. And when, and this is called, all these islands actually is, is kind of uh, caught up in the deformation zone. And the uh, most uh, serious deformation would be in front of the ranch and also at the back of the ranch right here. So a lot of movements along this Longsville Valley, we call it a place suture uh, between the three, and then this uh, deformation front means uh, the material, outside the material is uh, nothing was disturbed, but behind it, pushing forward. So a lot of upflushing material, uh, this, uh, uh, they go uh, on top, piling up on top of the island here. And this uh, up piling material actually is the movement of force. And this is a transaction, but before that, I would show you an uh, interesting configuration or present uh, rock diagram right here. Uh, you can see that the teeth hatcher of the line means that this is a, the fault trace, means the fault uh, met at the surface, and then the direction of the plant, the fault is a plant. And then uh, the dipping direction is uh, towards the east, the, uh, where the uh, triangle pointing at. Uh, so you can have this uh, series of thrust uh, towards the, uh, the continent, pushing uh, all together. And OK, we should tr trace back in the early Pliocene. That means uh, three to five million years ago. If you can read Chinese, but if not, you can read the number. OK. Ancient Taiwan, there's no uh, Taiwan at all uh, because uh, uh, the play was moving apart uh, away. Before, before the collision, there's a sea between the uh, present-day Taiwan and then the uh, so-called the Philippine Sea Play. And there's this ancient sea of, it's a, who we call the parallel ancient sea of the South China Sea that was subducted beneath the uh, film PC. And as time going on, uh, that sea was missing because of subduction. And then behind the sea is the uh, continent, continent, Eurasian continent. So uh, whenever the sea was missing, the continent material couldn't be subducted anymore. And then collision starts from this period of time. So emergence of the island with, I would say, three million years ago, the island of Taiwan was born above seawater. Below that is more uh, uh, with older ages. As time goes on, uh, the corrider material or pine material is getting bigger and larger. So we have the, in the last uh, one, three to one million years, uh, the shape of time more or less right here. Uh, chains of iron arc. And so, now Taiwan. So, we want to go a cross section to see what happened beneath uh, the island of Taiwan. So, I have a, a structural so called geological profile for that. It's very interesting. Here is the cross section we cut. So, a vertical cut uh, for a few tens of kilometers. Start from the western foothills. You can see the thick line there, thrust. That means the f a thrust fault. The material was uh, moving uh, towards the west. So last time the Chirmfu fault, uh, what happened 10 years ago, uh, the big earthquake 
uh, in the richest scale of 7.6 uh, create a surface rupture of 100, 100 kilometers and uh, the source of the earthquake uh, is about 10 kilometers so the shock that means the co-seismic deformation the fault that moved for more than 10 uh, meters horizontally and several meters uh, vertically uh, and uh, from the previous study uh, we realized that this fault had been activated the term for activate for uh, close to one million years. That means uh, within this one million years, there's a few tens or even hundreds, uh, same magnitude of earthquake has happened. Whenever this happens, the cumulative the displacement, you can see that uh, the rock was uh, piling up and stacking up. So in the to the, you to get a move. So cross section from east, from west to east. The high central range up to four kilometers, and then the basement. So the hot rock have been uh, diappear or up thrusting over the eastern Taiwan. If you get a chance to go through the the Taiwan Gorge, uh, you will see that uh, this uh, crystalline rock or so-called the metamorphic rock, which have been deeply buried, and then because the collision of the mountain and the extreme the squeezed upwards. So you can see this uh, profile. Uh, and this diagram was prepared by Camille and John Suppet uh, uh, of the, the other scholars. It's not uh, done by myself, this cross section. So uh, you can separate uh, into the zones uh, as you have seen from the uh, geological map at the western foothill the Shishan Range, and then the State Bell, and the high metamorphic rock, the Tang of Schist, where the oldest rock, the deeply buried, extinct. And here, before the deformation, here is the, for the Shishan Range a great example. This, the rock strata here is deposited in the Perugian time. That means uh, 50,000, 60,000, uh, 60, 50 million years ago, uh, this is part of the uh, Chinese continental margin. So this is a basin. So the rock was deposited, the, the sediment was deposited in this basin and deeply buried. And after liquefaction, many sediments solidify into rock. And then now, suffer the horizontal compression from the collision of the plate and then uh, because the free surface is uh, uh, the free boundary on, the, on top of the surface of the, so the surface of earth so material was squeezed uh, free to move upward let's see uh, what it looks like then in the southern tip of the Shoshan range is the Yushan, the highest peak in Southeast, I would say Southeast Asia, uh, above uh, except the North Borneos uh, in uh, the, the Malaysia, and uh, it's a 3952 uh, right here. And this is the East Peak, and you can see a strong uh, uh, structural gradients in this rock. There's a bedding of the rock strata. So strong dipping towards the east uh, so this uh, st strata originally is horizontal because it's sedimentary rock laid down in the basin but it deformed and then uh, uplift to here to see more detail we would like to take a look at detail for this piece of peak yeah so uh, it's an uh, internal full bell of the Shishan range or south uh, in the so-called east peak of Yishan is a folded mountain belt, the state belt. We all know the rock is solid, like glass, it's brittle. You bend it, you couldn't bend it, it broke. And how come the rock strata right here, you can see the curve, bend, twist, like this. Anybody uh, have an idea how it was formed? Why you could why you could uh, the rock could be bended, uh, folded into layers?
Do you call it compression? Yeah. Well, just I say, you, you press the glass, it broke. The rock is glassy material. The property of rock piece is glassy. It's brittle. A hit is even bound elastic. If it's stronger, compress it stronger, crack. It won't bend as smooth as this one. Yes? It's hitting or when and where and how? Under the sea. Under the sea. Okay, that's a good approach, yes, yes. So the rock. Huh? Pardon? Yeah, okay. From the previous uh, picture you show that this is a uh, air organ basin. So it's uh, deeply buried and to deep for ten or 15 kilometers and also part of it have been even subducted so a great depth and under the depth uh, because uh, they have a geothermal gradient that means uh, you you dig down into the earth you get the uh, feeling of getting hotter and hotter and uh, ge general geothermal, geothermal gradient for the earth is uh, every kilometers you heat up about 20 centigrade so you come down at 200, 300 uh, centigrade. That means you are in the depth of uh, 15 kilometers or so. So this rock has been bent or folded uh, at this kind of depth, this kind of temperature. And why was uh, and the, and then the physical property of rock has been changed because it hit it, and uh, the grain within itself has a lot of uh, uh, adjust itself. Uh, so. Uh, the brick toe material will be more ductile. So all this uh, bending, folding uh, was formed in the deep uh, in the earth. And then it was pushed up uh, to the surface of earth ever since it was bending. So now we see the piling, folding of the rock together. Uh, the other feature is uh, interesting. Uh, on top of mountain, uh, you have the quite a glacial features in, in Taiwan. You know we have tropical island, tropical cancer cut through the middle of the Taiwan. And uh, however, in uh, because of graphic uh, precipitation in the high mountains, about 3,000 or 3,000 meters, we do have snow in the winter time, and it lasts for usually for last for two months. But during the last glacial time, the snow line comes down as low as. Uh, 3,000 meters or even more. That means that the permanent uh, snow field on top about 3,000 meters are covered by ice year after year. And then it form glacier. The movement of glacier has a strong erosive power and shape the landscape on, uh, on top of, of the Taiwan. Even we have heavy rainfall, earthquakes, uh, uh, this kind of landform is still preserved in the high mountain of Taiwan. Yeah, we talk a lot, a lot of erosion, erosive power. Uh, you see the Typhoon Morocco uh, a month ago. Uh, this destructive power, erosive power, uh, moving everything away of a mountain. A lot of landslides, earthquake tricky landslide, and then we'll, we'll show you the photo later. And however, when in the central Taiwan, or high mountain Taiwan, there's a piece of land that was intact for 70 years. I took this picture uh, a few years ago, and there's uh, another uh, Japanese uh, scholar took this picture in the 1934. <coughs> you, can you detect any difference between these two? Uh, for example, you have uh, some uh, rock piles right here, talus or debut. The same, the shape, uh, large boulders. Uh, you find, you name it, you have it there, you, you can get it. So nothing changed at all for 70 years. And I suspect uh, during these 70 years, a lot of earthquake, a lot of uh, uh, heavy rainfalls, the typhoon uh, put out. So let's think about it. Interesting, huh? And you see some of the uh, glacial features in uh, For example, you're you hiking in the mountains, and I don't know where you, you came from. Your Alps in the uh, Mount Rainier or 
other Himalayas or great mountain chain, or even the uh, Nordic countries. And uh, you can see the land have more than glacial molded and uh, scored. So you have the glacial features. Yeah, here is another look from air for the same uh, the period picture of the Navadasa. Two glacial troughs in parallel. And this is a small ice cape, flat area within the mountains. It's very hard. Yeah, so glacial is coming down. This uh, is a landscape. Now uh, there, there's a landslide, a collapse, a collapse of cirque. Yeah. That means uh, formerly it was a cirque. But ever since the glacial retreat, uh, and then this cirque has been uh, uh, attacked uh, by the instability of the slope. Uh, destroyed, the cirque was destroyed. Right now we have this uh, as a, land, as a landslide feature, a crown area of landslide. And here is another cirque in the Shishan Hall, Quick Hollow, and then the trough or valley or U-shaped valley in between here. And because the constituent of the Shishan is mainly uh, sandstones, uh, metal sandstone is rocky, so you can see a lot of blocks, uh, conglomerate brackets, uh, sitting on the floor of the glaciers, high cliffs. And I look, you see the run of glacier from top through out this way, this all hanging valleys right here. Yeah. And this uh, uh, highest part in Taiwan, uh, you can see the mountain ranges. Uh, it's uh, interesting for hiking, you have young people with uh, lots of energy and take, go out and see and uh, look the landscape and uh, geology because uh, interesting uh, beside the landscapes, you have see the vegetations. Yeah, and also some wild animals as well. Yeah, big, uh, but be prepared for this uh, uh, trip uh, because uh, uh, exposed to the uh, climatic change. Uh. So, uh, from a look for the central range, uh, coastal range, central range, uh, Longesen Valley, and this is the Luzon Arc and it is uh, deformed the Chinese uh, continental margin and then in between the longitude value uh, the, this low part the fringing the coastal range and the central range and we have the terraces to the terraces outrise terraces and terraces as well this one so you can see that the uh, eroded material uh, transported by streams are rimding this big stream here, uh, rimding uh, both mountain chain, the coastal range, the central range. Yeah, I uh, just said that a lot of uh, metamorphic rock in the uh, central range. And one of them is serpentinite. What is serpentinite? Serpentinite actually is uh, all kind of ultramafic rock. Its composition is uh, lowest in the uh, crust. Uh, that means uh, beneath the mantle, uh, all the composition is uh, serpentinitic. Actually, serpentinite is the word, uh, is a kind of group of minerals or name rock uh, after the so-called uh, uh, peridotite. Uh, so you see that this gem called peridot is green, ovary green. It's mainly uh, composed of olefin. And olefin is the most important minerals in the mantle, uh, huge mantle. And uh, if you add water to it, then you come become serpentine. And the serpentine is very nice uh, for the marble uh, decoration, wall, table. So it's a mine, huge mine in eastern Taiwan uh, for that. Okay. You see that there's a meandering of rivers. A meandering of rivers, not only for that, is a present one, the previous one, and the previous one, and the previous one as well. So it means that what the stream have been mobile horizontally. 
no matter it's high ground or there's a mountain range there. So the erosive power of the stream is very, very fast. Uh, usually on this meandering, we can see on the third plant in the lower part of downstream of the stream, but right in the middle of the mountain, it has these kind of features. Yeah. So it must be induced uh, by flood of water in typhoon. Yeah, here is uh, interesting. So called the uh, Talon Sea in the central range, a deep gorge. Uh, and a lot of hot spring. Right here you have the biggest one, even a geyser. Yeah. And some since the, uh, the many composed of calcium carbonates. And uh, very nice. Uh, uh, why was that? In Taiwan, we have the highest density of hot spring in the world. Uh, it meant more than 100 or 200 hot springs, mainly from the uh, conference of two meters. Where two meters maps met, and there's uh, hot springs, uh, particularly winding uh, the eastern part of the central range. The uh, reason for that, because the island of Taiwan is uh, rising quickly, it has uh, one of the highest rate in the world. So, you, uh, from the previous uh, uh, pictures, you realize that all these are in the mantle, or in the deep down in the crust, or in the uh, deep part of the lithosphere, is hot. So, and then the dissipation of the heat energy or the heat is very slow because it's uh, silicates. Uh, if you uh, have a furnace in the your home, you use asbestos. You use use uh, uh, a lot of so-called silicates to insulate your oven and that insulated material mostly is same as rock so uh, the, 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 it's, it's this, that kind of end is this reserve so outrising and uh, the erosion power is important so uh, quick uh, uh, getting rid of the surface rock and so the rock is still heat still hot uh, that's why there are so many hot springs uh, in the movies, uh, below, uh, next to this, uh, we'll show you the uh, get a holistic view of the island, of, deformed island of Taiwan. Yes, it's beautiful, the center. And many calcium carbonates and, yeah. Okay, the other natural hazard would be the seismic. Uh, not only the shaking energy, but also if there are surface rupture, called seismic deformations, uh, then there's a stream cut through and forming rapids. And this is a nick point of the river. So this is a cliff, the waterfall right here, was created by the cold seismic movements of the Chichi earthquake, the uplift of uh, stream beds and the rupture of the Beibong Bridge here, uh, central Taiwan. So you can see that um, the change of the geographic uh, features of the surface instant, a few seconds, they create an uplift of uh, several meters, right here about seven meters. And that's a 21999 was taken. And several years later, Newly Beach was built Again, uh, straddled across the fort, you can see the detect that usually bridge are horizontal, and there's an inclined, steep, uh, in slow, uh, inclined angle of this part. That means that that, that, that this is higher that I to compensate the various of the altitude of the two pieces of land. Uh, one is upright, upright by the earthquake. On top of that, you see a small cliff right here. This was uh, up hoisted by the last several earthquakes as well. There's a 20, uh, more than 20 meters of uh, difference between the bed. And the next thing is the exposure of the stream bed. Uh, before the earthquake, there were gravels, several meters of gravel cover uh, the stream bed. Uh, I believe that a lot of water running out, so the cover of the gravel was eroded away. And then, 
the incision of river uh, starts. If the stream bed were covered with gravel, then the river couldn't be uh, cut down because the gravel, you, any erosion power is hitting the gravel. It's a kind of protected layer on top of the stream beds. Once the gravel was removed, it's both earth, so a lot of running water, and then would attack the stream bed uh, at the first uh, moment, and then they deepen the sea stream bed. That's also uh, widen the river valley. There's a kind of uh, so-called stream uh, uh, different processes. So the this you can huge along with that. So what, where is the water? You see that. That happened the last year. I took this picture. You see the flood of waters. Even there's a dam right over here, but still uh, have a huge amount of erosive power. A bridge was uh, uh, broken because of this uh, heavy torrent of water. An uh, interesting other point is that uh, uh, the Dan River, uh, after seven, seven uh, eight years after the earthquake, the canyon formed. This uh, canyon has the width of about 20, 30 uh, meters. The height will be 10, more than 20 uh, meters. It still can visit this place. Uh, I, it's a uh, one hour and a half drive from here. So uh, uh, this part of the place has been uprising, uh, uprise, the co-seismic deformation. Uh, so for this piece of land has been uprising for several meters. So it exposed uh, uh, for erosive power of the stream, then and the rock is soft. Uh, so uh, within a less than ten years, the canyons were formed. Yeah. So uh, before that, you say that the outrising bed uh, stratus bedrocks and folded. Actually, this piece of land before the earthquake is something like this. Right after a co-seismic deformation, bend this layer upward, forming in the dome shape, and then this uh, also so forming a so-called uh, uh, co-seismic damped lake uh, immediately. So at that time, have loss of the trucks, the lorries, uh, move away all these uh, cover sediments, and then uh, incision of this. Uh, uh, we uprising beds forming the chain, uh, canyons. They start forming the canyon right here. So if we move back, this uh, canyon is something like this. Yeah. So any questions for the moment? Yeah, okay. I will talk about a little bit of the typhoon. In, right? Okay. Questions? Central Taiwan region about Sun Lake. Yes. Uh, what was where was the, the date of its formation? Okay. Is it because of the rains or it was like from the beginning? Turn off one of Taiwan and Taiwan one. Yeah. So uh, the formation of the Sun Moon Lake had to be related to the climatic change as well as the plate uh, tectonics. Why was that? You realize that the uh, Tissue earthquake have created a co-seismic surface rupture of 100 kilometers. So, the thing is important, like this here. Okay, push this piece of power. Okay. And long length, 100 kilometers. And there's a three dimensional, there's a so, uh, right? However, this tape is about the dimensions of the frontal of the glass the to the uh, sun lake is about 50 kilometers. So this piece of uh, land can move just beyond several meters or something. So create a gap behind. So there's a uh, sun lake all this a series of uh, uh, basins, uh, not only one, there are six, seven sizes like Sun Moon Lake, but smaller. 
aligned in the uh, uh, north-south directions. So because this, because uh, this move apart, the the back part or the uh, cannot move as fast as much as the frontal part. So create a gap. There's a uh, extensional features uh, in this piece of land in the pulley, so-called pulley basin. How many? Uh, Samun Lake is uh, one of the pulley basins, a serious basin right there. So, cause this uh, depression, and then a loss of rainfall, waters coming. They form a lake. So, uh, a lot of uh, play the connotations. Uh. Here is uh, one of the after the uh, Morocco typhoon, you will see that uh, in uh, central th southern Taiwan, landslide falling material block fill up the stream or uh, in the Wanda area central Taiwan also all the people scale here the stream is very small but you fix sediments of meters and meters pile up and you can see the people is right here so scale and terraces terraces all these are uh, water flooded right here there's overbank deposits and then later water cut down and then you see in the small stream right here and this is more than 50 meters or so and you see that uh, yeah the bridge even buried yeah it's a interesting place the hao cha uh, in south uh, in the Pingdong valley uh, in southern uh, western Taiwan and you can see that uh, the landslide here the landslide there yeah and that before the typhoon the people had uh, ex excavate or uh, leave the uh, living town is an old place here and for the last uh, 20 years the previous uh, landslides have de uh, has been uh, uh, destructed this part of the area. So the village here was uh, evacuated, moved away uh, during the Typhoon Morocco. But you can see the later what happens. The village still there, they're gone. So we suffered two kinds of damages. One is the landslide, the other is the uprising river, flooding river. Because the huge material here, the dam delayed and the land flooded. So, so it's a house of village. Fortunately, there's no people here. But for the other site, it's not so uh, lucky. The Shaolin village, have you heard that? The same similar suffering. But the people are still living there, landslide, and then the uh, landslide dam delay, uh, broken. And so we'll show you uh, later. In, yeah, in the upstream of Taiman Sea, you can see that since that 20 30 meters so huge amount of the uh, lens material uh, down deposit into the streams and transport by the steam but yeah you render the mark of the material fill up here 10 20 meters easily for almost uh, a lot of streams here uh, in the uh, central range of Taiwan Here's another example. In the 2004, the so-called Minduri uh, uh, typhoon. There are two typhoons, Ari and Minduri. One in September, uh, July, the other in, in the May August. Each one have the uprising of the riverbed for six meters or so. So first time here, the riverbed has been uprising six meters already. So the athletics the stadium is about six meters above see the truck here uh, six meters above the pulley six meters above the stream bed then another typhoon come over flood it so another six meter the stadium is gone house is there So it will be a world record, eh? Yeah, okay. Here's another important uh, uh, geographical site 
uh, 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 quite touristic, so-called the Frame Mountain, because oh. the wet lateral soil caked this conglomerate deposits, and all these are badland uh, images. You have seen the five major uh, so debris flowed channels, and then you separate into three parts. The crowned area, the crown area, the channel transporting the falling material, and then the fan, the deposition area, the fan here. The row is coming through here. So it was taken about uh, 11, 12 years ago. Later, you see that uh, uh, in between you have typhoons and also Chichu earthquake. So the crown area collapsed or even some of the crown area collisioned together. Uh, from the picture you saw that the crown area is uh, quite large and very narrow transporting the uh, gorge. And then while all wire went up, wire opened up as a fan in below. So uh, this uh, will show you that, that uh, the power of this uh, uh, gravel uh, land, streamlets, and you, yeah, this is along the small gorges, like the knife cut shop in between. Uh, uh, this is mainly uh, controlled by some of the discontinuities we call it joint. Uh, uh, during the position, the layering is called bedding. Uh, some of the discontinuity almost perpendicular to joint surfaces they call the uh, uh, this is the core jointing so the bad end topography mainly shaped uh, by these uh, discontinuities uh, this is the uh, valley or the gorge the gravel gorge in within this uh, so called uh, uh, frame mountain gorge you see there there's a shear zone or fault zone right here, uh, uh, much darker in color. And the alignment of this pebble is very different from the uh, adjacent part. Uh, from top, uh, taken from the helicopter, you can see that uh, there's uh, uh, interesting features. The failure is more circular. Oh. And triggered by seepage, or ground waters. Uh, so uh, the landslide uh, instability of the slope uh, mainly triggers by waters. Uh, surface run water like the typhoon or ground water seepage. So then yes, there's a sm smart design before that. As you said, uh, open, put a channel right here. So as the gravel coming down, we can uh, lower it out, attract the gravel out, and then uh, the traffic can go through. But however, the design was a little bit or short, a couple hundred meters. So uh, a couple of large uh, lens, uh, uh, typhoon come over, and the fan move, the rock move, and bury this uh, portal the entry of this uh, uh, tunnel. Yeah. Okay, and here is uh, some scenic spot along the north eastern Taiwan, uh, the coastal range. And see here is the uh, rock starter, uh, looks a crocodile a hat. <laughs> And the layers is uh, horizontal, I mean curving upward. So it is geologically, is, that means a syncline uh, right here, axis syncline right here. Okay, so you can see the strata is more or less horizontal, but still I have a kind of a, a curving uh, attitude. And along this coast, you have a lot of sea platforms. So quite a number of people have fishing around this area. This is the uh, most uh, northeastern tip of Taiwan, so Bito. Uh, is, uh, there's a park over here. It's uh, a nice place to visit. Only our drive. And here's the uh, best uh, beaches in Taiwan. And we have a summer uh, musical uh, 
uh, meeting uh, right here. So it uh, draws of uh, 100,000 of people over uh, the Yenliao, uh, the Fulong area. Uh, nice sandbar and beaches. So you can see that uh, the strong longshore currents. And is, this is the Shukuan Xi. Is uh, interesting is that is this stream originate from the central range and flow eastwards to the longitudinal valley and then cut through the coastal range where the so-called uh, volcanic arc, uh, Lushan, ancient volcanic arc of the Lushan. And here's the, uh, all these are volcanic rocks, uh, Miocene in age, uh, the ancient arc material, and a lot of riffle limestone. If you go to Ocean Island, like the, uh, uh, Tahiti or other, other ocean islands, a lot of riffle limestone, riffle corals ringing around. Here is the ancient uh, relics of this so-called uh, riffle limestone, so quite white. A lot of fossils are uh, uh, within these uh, uh, limestones. A lot of uh, people uh, do the roughing uh, down the stream. It's uh, quite interesting. Uh, yeah, here is so called uh, Lin Bend uh, uh, Chia Tong. Uh, this area have a heavy, heavily struck by the typhoon uh, Morocco. All these fish palms have been buried by mud. Uh, uh, during the uh, flooding, uh, there is also a high tide time. So uh, the water couldn't flow out, and the mud and the, the dirty uh, turbid currents uh, all cover this. Uh, so it is uh, heavily uh, suffered. So he looks, take a look about the uh, uh, central range. Here. Yeah, here is uh, one of the largest landslides uh, in Taiwan, very close to Shaolin area. So it's long, four kilometers. Its shape is a wedge. One is the bedding pan, the other is the John uh, plan. So we kind of so called this kind of failure, uh, wedge failure. Uh, whole block has been slide down. And this was taken. Uh, couple years before the, uh, uh, the typhoon Morocco. Yeah, this part would be... I will show you uh, another one about uh, Shaolin. Yeah, natural hazard. So uh, if not possible, then I will show you some uh, interesting emanations. Okay, any questions for the moment? Taiwan is very fast, 
and blowing on the left wing of the aircraft. In this light, then, is a mistake for Finland. Uh, on the end, both of them are covering that ground. The other way to do For example, when you do that, you can see some far what it is in the top of the cabin. And then, on the This is a so-called O-Lens battery. It is very hard to see the separation. The foot of them is into a stable mode. The lung lens are not already heavy. So the foot is cut. The soil is cut. So this is a stable mode. The morphological vegetation, increasing of vegetation, and also some habits within this vegetation cover, we give you some things. We can say that it's a post-man, non-man, or whether it's a stable or not stable comparison. They're habits. For example, this is so large here. The area is a little bit of this uh, less dense vegetative cover area. The jump very similar to this one here. So we can find Ever since the typhoon of the last uh, decade, the government of Taiwan has spent a lot of time. To map this area, whether it is stable or landslide or not. Yeah. 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 In general, the amount of rainfall between uh, Taiwan and Japan is no great differences. However, the typhoon varies greatly. For a few days, or even a single day, the intensity of the rainfall is much, much more greater than the other part of the world, so for one thing. The other, we have a lot of uh, uh, high intensity of uh, earthquakes. Uh, so a lot of landslides have been induced or triggered by the land, a lot of landslides triggered by these earthquakes. Uh, so called, so we have the land, the stability of the slope uh, mainly triggered by rainfall as well as uh, landslides. Unfortunately in Taiwan, we have both of them. Uh, and the other way is the uplifting because the pushing of the plate. So we have very high uplift rate. And the rock is very young. So, and that means the rock is uh, not lithified, not very solid. So lithologically, it's not resistant to erosion. So wherever there is uh, subject to this kind of natural forces, it's very easy to disintegrate uh, from blocky to fine uh, material. So uh, wherever there's uh, heavy uh, forces, or, uh, uh, then it would easily uh, erode away. So we have the highest uh, uh, sediment rate in the, in the world. It means that sediment was dumped into the sea was uh, two order of magnitude than average of the world. Uh, so a hundred times, uh, there's a, a very, very significant one. And so, uh, however, we have beautiful sceneries because of this. And we have uh, sufficient water So, uh, and also uh, the other thing is important is that uh, the natural hazard has uh, great influence to our society, even can rock our political systems. You have to uh, uh, get a feeling for the last uh, uh, seven weeks. So uh, we change the cabinet, uh, cabinet and also uh, a lot of fuel uh, ministers 
yeah, because the the treatment or the handling of these uh, natural hazards is not if uh, people saying that it's not efficient enough. So any questions? So uh, take a rest, uh, ten minutes, and come back. We have a movie for you. <laughs>